I like to work in layers. So in starting this painting, I go right for my sky color. And generally I'll start a sky by using just the pigment without any white. I don't like to have white usually on my panel in the first stages of a painting, but this time I decided to change that up. So I got some phthalo blue, some white and the walnut oil, and then I just start applying that right onto the panel. The reason I decided to add white into it right away was, well, for one, I've got that phthalo blue that I'm using because I want the sky color to be a little bit more on the cool side of things. But if I use that phthalo blue straight from the tube, it's a very strong staining color and it's on the darker side of the blues. So adding that white in there both helps to cool it even more and it gives me more substance. There's more paint there to work with when I start to wipe that off. So here I'm using these lavenders as a complement to all those yellows. First of all, it's generally more disconcerting or it doesn't feel as nice for the viewer if everything is, is warm colors, yellows and reds. It's wonderful. We love to, our brains love to see those warm, scintillating colors, reds especially. But in order to temper all that warmth, we also need to have the complement in there. The complement to yellow is lavender. So I'm getting plenty of bluish lavenders and reddish lavenders mixed into those yellows. In creating this bush that's right there beside that pine tree, I have to make sure that there is a separation of the two. That I have them, of course, fitting together there well, but also that the colors are a little bit different, at least to a degree that it doesn't look like another part of the pine tree just sticking out there. All right, so you notice how with some of these little rocks, they're so simple. All I'm doing is grabbing the right value and color mixture that I want and then putting a stroke down and there might be a rock. And if I want to form that out a little bit, I put in some type of a shadow on one side or maybe the back of it or something like that. But it's, it's a very overall a simple thing. Sometimes it takes just a little touch to finish off an edge. But those little touches are important, especially with an object in there like that rock that is so central. It's almost the primary focal point in the painting. If, and some would probably argue that it is the primary focal point. A lot of things are pointing to that rock. So I want to make sure that it has a lot of fun edges and shifts and color changes and that the edges on it all feel natural as if they really are a rock sitting in that river. That was a very long voiceover to do. I didn't realize when I first started this that it was almost six hours long. So I hope that it was well worth it to you to endure to the end and that you gain some great insights that'll help you to progress in your own art. So get out there and have a great time painting.